Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here and like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, in this video we're going to be talking about RC boat maintenance. What kind of maintenance you need to do to your RC boat. Now, one of the most important things that you can do to any of your RC vehicles is doing the required maintenance on it. Just like you do the maintenance on your real vehicle, you want to apply it to your RC vehicle. By doing this, you're going to increase the life of your RC and the parts that are on that vehicle because they do have moving parts, bearings and gears and stuff that require lubrication and grease. So you want to make sure that you do that to your RCs. So by doing it, you increase the life of your vehicle, the parts, and it'll be running at top notch. So all right, so I'm going to show you what I do on the process of cleaning and maintenancing the boat. So first off, what I do after I get done running the boat, I take a dry rag with me and I wipe it down. That way I get out that water off of there before I put it back in my truck there. I don't want my seats to be all soaking wet and stuff, so I'll dry it off. Then when I get to the house, that's when I start the whole cleaning process and greasing and lubricating the bearings and gears and stuff. So uh, I will have a pair of some plastic gloves here, latex gloves, I guess, you know, some gloves there. Uh, so that way my hands don't get all dirty and stuff like that. Uh, of course, I got the tools and stuff like that to work on. And then uh, I use a cleaning product. This is an all-purpose cleaner. This is called Simple Green, all-purpose. Uh, you don't have to use this typical brand. You can actually use any type of all-purpose cleaner. But uh, a lot of RC companies and a good buddy of mine recommends using Simple Green just because it is a non-toxic and valuable, valuable graded form. And it's concentrated and it's safe. <laughs> I guess that's why uh, people are telling you to use it. So uh, what I would do is that I would spray the whole boat in the simple green, go back with my cloth, wipe it down. That way I'll get some of the stubborn stains that's left from the pond or the lake or wherever I was running at. Uh, it helps get those stains off that boat. So after that's done, put it to the side, I would start focusing inside of the boat itself. Uh, and I would use a can of compressed air to uh, blow the inside because uh, when I run the boat, I do set it up and I take the top off, let the uh, the motor cool down and the electronics and stuff. And you know, with leaving the top open, stuff do fly in there. So you want to make sure you clean it out. So a little compressed air, blow it in there, get all that stuff out of there. Uh, will help clean the inside. All right. Next thing I do is that I would remove the motor off the, the uh, off the boat here. Pretty simple on the Traxxas M41 to do that. But uh, you, you want to lubricate your bearings on those motors. So I would use WD-40 to lubricate the bearings uh, on, it, on the motor there. Real simple to do. Alright, so after I lubricate the bearings and uh, yeah, which there's not much movable parts on the boat. Then you have your rudder, your motor, and of course your prop. Not a lot of, <laughs> not a lot of uh, maintenance wise there. Not a lot of movable parts or moving parts. All right. Next thing you want to do is that you want to remove your dry shaft or your flex shaft or the flex cable off the boat. And you want to use a uh, grease. You want to use a marine grease. Trax has actually sent a little tube of marine grease with the boat, but you can use any type of marine grease or a waterproof base grease, all right? And what you wanna do is that you wanna pull the cable out and then you wanna take the marine grease and put little drops here and there and then you wanna go back and just kinda, of, you know, smear it around the, uh, the, around the cable there. Uh, you also wanna put a little dab of, of grease right there in the tube of where your drive shaft goes or drive cable goes into and then uh, push it back in there Tighten it back down, wipe off any excess uh, stuff. Same thing when you're doing uh, the WD-40, wipe down any kind of uh, excess stuff on there. And then put your cable back in there, tighten it back up. And then the next thing I do, which you don't have to do, it's probably not really necessary to do, but I do it anyway. I like to apply a coat of wax to every one of my boats uh, because, uh, of course, you know wax, you get that nice shiny gloss uh, look and uh, protection and so by putting it on the boats I feel that I get a better run because uh, with having a smooth surface 
I can get across that water pretty quick, just like, you know, with waxing your vehicle, you're actually, you know, getting more of that air to come off the vehicle, so it actually increases your gas mileage. I bet you guys didn't know that, it did. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I know that because I've done auto detailing for 14 years, and uh, by playing wax your vehicle once a month, you can increase your gas mileage. How about that? It's a tip there, you guys didn't know. Now, yeah. So that's my whole process in maintenance my RC boat. Uh, you can apply the same process to yours if you want to do that. Uh, or check with your uh, your manual and see what they recommend you to do as far as maintenance in your RC boat. But pretty much, it's pretty much the same on every RC boat. You want to do that type of maintenance. Uh, you know, uh, greasing, <laughs> greasing your cable. Uh, <laughs> Boom! Mine shot. <laughs> you want to lubricate the bearings and stuff. So yeah, guys. So <laughs> mine shot. It's pretty late right now, so that's why I'm kind of having a little bit of a brain fart, I guess. But uh, by doing a general maintenance on these vehicles, you definitely increase the run time. Uh, Triaxis recommends to do it every run or every after run. I've already done the maintenance on it, so I thought maybe if I if I did it again, that would be unnecessary, really, because I've done it last time I ran it. I've done the whole maintenance on it, so I don't need it right now, so I didn't want to take it all apart. But if you guys want to see a video of me taking it apart, comment down below and let me know. I'll try to fit a video in for that area. But uh, yeah, guys, just do the maintenance on your RC vehicles and they will run for a lifetime. I've got plenty of vehicles and people all the time ask me, dude, how's your RCs lasting this long? Mine keeps breaking. I keep breaking gears and stuff like that or, you know, my, mine's always rusted up and stuff like that because I do the maintenance. That's like, I do the maintenance on my vehicles like you're supposed to. It'll run properly and you don't have to buy so many parts. So yeah. All right, my friends, well, that's it for this video. If you guys got any questions, hey, comment down below, like the video, and uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, my friends. Actually, I just checked. I hit uh, 4,500 subscribers. I think it's at 4,503, I think. I think it is somewhere around there, I think, which is awesome. That's awesome. i really like to hit that 5,000 mark. That was my goal back in 2017, so hopefully maybe this year it might happen. If it doesn't, hey, you know what? I don't care. All right? I really don't. <laughs> it's just a nice goal to set for myself. All right, my friends. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next upcoming RC video. Thanks for watching.